Hey, Tech, nice to meet you, man. Welcome. Um, hey, did you have a sense you were going to land here, like when free agency began and, you know, not knowing exactly where you would land? Where were the Browns on your radar? Um, it was it was a real easy decision for me. I mean, they had tried to pick me up, you know, three times after I got <laughs> released. <laughs> then they also tried to trade for me. Um, so I was like the fifth time is going to be the charm. So um, <laughs> it was a real it was a real easy decision for me. You know, once they offered, you know, talk to my agent and let's get it done. Let's, let's <laughs> you know, there's no let's let's go. I'm ready to go. Yeah, what did that mean to you, Tack, to know how much they wanted you last year and it just didn't work out for whatever reason? Um, it mean it means a lot, you know what I'm saying? Just in just the opportunity, you know, like I said, this league is not promised. Um, so just to be here, just talking to you guys, you know, you know, I, I'm very appreciative. And um, you know, to know a team, you know, sees what I'm worth, sees, you know, what I can do and really believes in me, that means the world. And, you know, now I just can't wait you know, to get out there on that field and, 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 and prove it to myself and, 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 and then show, show everybody else, you know, why it was a smart decision to bring me here. Thank you. Thank you, Tom. Mary Kay Cabot is next. Yeah, Tech, can, can you sort of just address how you think that, uh, you know, that a change of scenery will do you good? Because it, it seems like, you know, if you go back and you read, uh, you know, the path that you've been on, it just seems like you kind of got off track or something uh, in Atlanta and you needed some new eyes on you to see you in a new way. And why do you need a change of scenery? Why do you think this will be the right one? Um, I'll say everything, everything happens for a reason. Um, you know, in life, you know, you always have your highs and you always have your lows. I mean, that's just life. Life is a roller coaster. You know what I'm saying? And, and for me, the biggest thing is, you know, to, um, to learn from my mistakes. And, you know, I'm not perfect. I made a lot of mistakes in my past. But however, you know, you know, if I want to grow from that, you know, I just don't make the same mistake twice. But as far as the opportunity go, you know, sometimes a fresh start is 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 the best thing for everyone. Um, and, and I'm just very, very excited to be a part of the Cleveland Browns, knowing, you know, how bad they wanted me and just knowing, you know, the opportunity that that, that lays in front of me. You know, I'm I'm with a team that's, you know, that's great locker room, um, the culture is changing, and I'm just e excited to be a part of, you know, and to continue to continue, you know, to, to change what people, you know, think about the Cleveland Browns. And um, in the past, it was just, you know, a, a laughing, you know, organization. And I'll be real with you. I, don't, I mean, I don't really know too much about Cleveland, but I just know, you know, they was known for losing. But that's, that's not the culture here no more, especially after talking to, you know, Coach Ski, uh, Mr. Barry, um, pretty much everybody in this building, like that losing stuff is that's that's not part of of Cleveland anymore. And I'm just excited to be here and and help um, keep 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 winning, keep winning. And and real quick, most guys that um, you know that come in for a, a Zoom interview with us don't uh, you know put on such a nice suit and a tie. And, uh, so my my question about that is is this sort of uh, you know, your way of showing that you're, you want to turn over a new leaf. You want to present, uh, you know, just a different tack uh, to, to the public than people um, may think of you. Basically, you know, um, like I said, this game is a business. And um, I just think, you know, in my younger days, like I said, I'm only, I'm 25. So I really can't say younger days like that, but, you know, coming, you know, in 2017, when I first got into this league, you know, you know, people would tell me things and I kind of just, uh, my way is the is the best way or whatnot, or, you know, I do certain interviews and, you know, just be very immature about it. And once again, like I said, this league is, 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 is not promised. It's, it's a privilege to be here, you know, talking to you guys. And I just feel like I'm at the point in my career where, you know, you know, if I want to be in this league, I need to start acting like it. So, you know, today was, you know, to not look good, but today was just a, you know, for myself, you know, and for everybody else that I'm, I mean, nothing but business. Thank you. Thank, Thank you, Mary Kay. We'll go to Jake Trotter. Yeah, Tech, uh, you know, your thoughts on, on playing opposite Miles, you know, how he can help you, how you can help him uh, compliment him on the field. Um, I think it's, I think it's amazing. I mean, I pretty much ain't got to get into Miles Garrett resume. Um, everybody in the world knows it. Um, but the way I think I can help him, you know, is you know I'm you got a dog you got a, you got a dog on the other side of you, 
Um, you got someone that's go battle for you. You got someone that's go go hard, that um, 100%, you know, full speed. Someone that, you know, you know, let's just go, let's go, you know, give it his all. You know what I'm saying? And once again, I know I've done shown a lot of flashes in my career. And, um, you know, for me, it's all about being consistent now. Um, you know, I'm not a rookie in this league no more. I'm, I'm, you know, me and Miles in the same draft class, like considered a vet now. So, you know, for me, it's you no, know, ain't, ain't no more excuses on oh, why this, why that, why this, why that, you know, it's get the job done and, and, and leave it at that. But I'm, I'm very excited to be able to, you know, team up with Miles, you know, Sheldon Richardson and, and, you know, this defense and, and continue to continue to get better, just continue, continue to improve. Thank you, Jake. Daryl Ryder, you're up. Your first two seasons, you had, I think, 13 sacks. So my question to you is, how do you get back to being that type of player? And also, how can Joe Woods in this defense help you become that player again as well? Um, I think for me, it's, it's pretty simple. It's pretty simple. And I, I'll be honest, um, got no reason not to be. Um, I, I'll say, you know, when I was having success in this league, you know, I had six sacks my rookie year. Personally, I like to say eight, but they don't count playoff sacks or whatnot. But I had eight sacks my rookie year, you know, seven and next. And, then, you know, I was hungry at the time, you know. Um, you know, when I came into this league, you know, you know, um, at draft night, you know, I was I was real hungry. Um, I wasn't relaxed. I was all about, you know, you know, just just getting after it. And I feel like, you know, these last couple of years, um, specifically probably 20, 2018, 2019, I kind of lost myself. Um, I lost the way I played the game. Um, I just lost a lot. And um, and now, you know, I'm, I'm back. I got a great mindset. Um, I got a great team around me. And, and now it's just, you know, to continue to improve, continue to learn, continue to talk to people, continue to get help, and just continue to grow and, and be a better person, better player, and just – just better overall, and and as far as the scheme go with Joe Woods, like I love the scheme. You know, it's it's something that, you know, it it, it works best for me. You know, getting a wide nine, and, and that way I'm able to, <clears throat> excuse me, that way I'm able to, you know, use my speed, use my explosiveness, you know, use you know what I'm good at. You know what I'm saying? So so I'm excited to to be able to get in that defense, whether it's on the left or the right. I don't have a preference. I could rush on both sides, but. Um, like the defense, you know, just talking to Joe Woods and and um, Coach Coach Kiffin and just you know D line coach, um, it got me excited. It got me excited. I'm just you know once training camp come, I'm ready to get to work. And you mentioned the the, the perception of the Browns wasn't very positive uh, in the past, but from your perspective, what changed your perception uh, of the Browns? Was it as simplistic as them winning 11 games and making the playoffs last year? No, I wouldn't even say it was that. You could just, I mean, to, to be, <laughs> if you want my honest opinion, if you want my honest opinion, we played the Browns probably like two years ago when I was in Atlanta and, and uh, we got our butts kicked pretty bad. And, and that right there, you know, kind of let, you know, me know, okay, this is not the same Browns team that people say they are. Like, like this team is, they have something different. I don't know what it is, but they have something different. And, um, and it's and it's and it's obvious. Like when I when I signed, I mean, the first person hit me up was was Baker, um, and he didn't have to do that. You know what I'm saying? He didn't at all. But for him to you know to, to send me a text message or whatnot, you know, um, that that right there means a lot. And like I said, I'm just I'm just proud to you know come join this team and 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 keep trying to win games and keep 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 changing the narrative. Thank you, Daryl. Nate Ulrich is next. Jack, uh, because of what happened last year with, with the physicals, what can you tell us now um, about your health? Um, well, I really don't want to get into health too much, but um, had a physical yesterday. Um, you know, I will pass it <laughs> and just leave it at that. You know what I'm saying? But I'm, I'm healthy. Um, I'm down in Orange County, um, Irvine specifically, you know, working out, training every day. Um, yeah. Okay, and then uh, hey, earlier you said that um, you, you lost yourself, but you have a great mindset now. Um, what happened to, to make you lose yourself, and how did you get back in, in, into the mindset that you're in now? 
I mean, I'll just say life, you know what I'm saying? Like, I mean, I feel like a lot of people, when it comes to, you know, football players, they just look at us, you know, as gladiators and just, you know, when it comes to football, it just has to be football. But I mean, just like every single one of y'all, I, I do have a life, a personal life and, and things happen in that personal life and that's okay. And I'm just older now and I'm more mature now that I understand, you know, you know, yes, I may have some issues outside of life, but when I'm on that grass, you know, don't nothing else matter. And, um, you know, and I'm just huge on just learning from my mistakes. You feel me? And, you know, don't, don't make them same mistakes twice. Thank you, Nate. Let's go to Scott Petrick. Hey, Tech, when you talk about the Bronx trying to trade for you and trying to claim you off waivers, did you feel like when you were coming out in the draft that they wanted you um, because Andrew Barry was here back then too? Yeah, I did. Um, I Honestly, I, I – I didn't know what they was going to do. I mean, I, I knew they was going to get Miles Garrett, but I believe they had a pick at number 10 or 11. I can't remember, it was some years ago, 12. 12. Um, it, it creeped up in my mind because, like I said, Cleveland was the, my first NFL visit um, of, my, of my career. And, um, and, and it, went, it went real well. It went real well. So, um, you know, I, I knew Andrew Berry. Um, he, he, he got the most confidence in me. You know, he believed I'm a, I'm a great DN. Um, and it was, a, it was a lot of good DNs in that draft class. And, and um, he felt like I was one of the good ones. So, you know, I appreciate him for, you know, trying multiple times to get me here. And, uh, <laughs> and like I said, the fifth time, the fifth time was, a, was a charm. What has he told you that he likes so much about your game? Um, he liked that I'm just explosive. Um, I'm fast. I'm, 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 I'm a dog. Um, and, and like you said, like, you know, if you check my, like, if you check on my tape, you know, we played Seattle, you know, the first game of the season last year. I had six QB hits in the first half. Um, you know, if you check my tape against Philadelphia, the Eagles, um, I probably had like nine QB hits, no sacks. So it's like, you know, sometimes I feel like some people get caught up with sacks and all that, but they don't get, they don't really, you know, get caught up with the pressures, the QB hits, et cetera, et cetera. So, you know, I feel like for um, Mr. Barry, he's seen enough on tape that was like, okay, this guy, he has it, you know, now it's just, you know, get him in the right system, get him, get him around the right people. Um, and, 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 you know, let's, let's, let's get after it. Thanks. Yep. Thanks Scott. Jeff Shadell, go ahead. I think you muted. Yeah, Jeff, Does playing yeah. on a one-year contract really yeah. make you hungry to prove what you can do and strike a big next year? Hey, I'm sorry, you was you was muted. I ain't hear your your full question. I'm asking, does uh does playing on a one-year contract really make you hungry for what you could do in free agency next year? Um, to be honest, I'm not really thinking about next year because once again, how how I started off this 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 interview. You know, this league is not guaranteed. This league is not promised. So, you know, you know, I, I, I had that mindset, you know, from 2017 to 2020. Uh, I didn't have a good year this year. I got I was worried about next year. I didn't have a good year that year. I was worried about next year. You know, this league is not guaranteed at all. So, you know, I got a one year deal. I'm focusing on this year, focusing on what I can control. And, um, you know, if I do what I need to do, that will take care of itself. But. You know, ain't no ain't no reason for me to think, you know, uh, let's think about next year when I got to handle this year. Thank you, Jeff. Next is Marla Ridenauer. Yeah, welcome to Cleveland. Um, I just wanted to wonder, have you heard from Miles and, you know, or did you get to know him at all when, you know, being in the same draft class? No, I don't, I don't, I don't really know him like that. Um like I said, I know, I know, like I said, he was in my draft class. You know, it was a bunch of DNs I got drafted in the first round. And, um, you know, there's a competitive spirit in every single one of us to think that we're the best. You know what I'm saying? Regardless of how our careers played out, you know, I'm sure everyone in that draft class felt like they was the best. So, you know, um, I, I reached out to him. I reached out to him. Um, I should, should hear back from him soon. But, um, no, nah, like I said, I'm just, I'm just grateful to um, – like I said, be a Cleveland Brown and excited to get to work with him. And do you almost get a sense that this is was Andrew Barry's vision all along, you know, like even though it didn't happen, you know what I mean, that this was in the back of his mind, even going back to that draft that, 
he could see you you two guys together? Um, I don't know what Andrew Barry vision was. I'm not gonna lie to you, but whatever it is, is 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 shaping up and looking good um, for the city of Cleveland. So, I mean, if his vision is me and Miles come off the edge, and you know, if he if he been right about his vision in the past, and you know, hopefully right about this one, you know, for 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 my sake. Thank you, Marla. We'll go to Tony Grossi, and this will be our last question for TAC. Hey, TAC, uh, you talked a lot about maturity on this call, and you've certainly shown it uh, on this call. Uh, other than seeing the light by yourself, did, did someone get through to you that helped you along the way? Yeah, um, you know, a bunch of people, a bunch of people. Um, you know, I know I know a lot of people think, you know, my time in Atlanta was just just – the worst time ever, but that wasn't the case at all. You know, I met people that that I'll be friends with for the rest of my life um, without even talking about football. One being, you know, Dan Quinn, um, you know, the relationship that I have with him will last forever. Um, another one being Raheem Morris, um, same. You know, they always ones that keep it real with me and tell me, you know, what I need to hear. Um, Jeff Obrick, um, you know, he was my coach at um, UCLA, my defensive coordinator, he always kept it real with me and told me what I need to hear. Um, AD, he's a D-line coach for the Dallas Cowboys. Another person that always told me, you know, what I need to hear. And, um, you know, and last but not least, my, 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 my mentor, um, which was Kevin Green, who, who passed away. Um, he was someone who always was like, I could talk to about anything, um, whether it was football, life, no matter what it was. And, um, you know, he, he told me, you know, Tech, if you want to be in this league for a long time, you know, you have to fix your image. And, you know, I feel like a lot of people don't really know me. A lot of people don't understand me. But once you get to talk to me, you know, you'll, you'll soon realize, like, ain't nothing wrong with this dude at all. But, um, nah, them, them, them names that I, that I said to you, there's just a few names that, um, that helped me really understand, you know, um, something needs to change, whether it's, you know, the way I carry myself, whether it's the way I talk, whether I, I don't know, but all I know is, like I said, I'm just trying to grow and just um, just get better in all areas, whether that's football, you know, a father, um, or just a person.